Hello guys, welcome to Manager 14, becoming no, no. Welcome to Football Manager 14, London Town FC. The series where you guys, as a community, make all the major decisions. Everything goes through you. And the thing I said last episode was players. We need the players for us to sign. And we have come up big. We have come up big. I have taken some of your suggestions. Um, starting off with Dante, we signed him last episode along with Albuena. Tom Huddleston, I suggested him to you. A lot of you suggested Tom Huddleston to join. He's going to be good in that uh, deep line midfielder role. Um, whether he'll play box to box midfielder or ball winning midfielder, that's something we've got to have to think about. But we got Tom Huddleston for twelve and a half million. We then got Seamus Coleman on the right hand side. A lot of player of you suggested that as well. Um, we got him for nine and a half million, which is a great deal. Um, very good wing back. A lot of you went into detail about how he's a good player. We got John Ruddy here. Uh, a very nice little goalkeeper. Um, I've got something to say about John Ruddy, but I'll go into that later. We got him for six million pounds. Fabio Quintrao is our main left left back. We got him for only six million pounds, which is a very very good deal. Unfortunately, though, that meant we couldn't sign um, the young English left back who um, um, who plays in uh, Championship. I can't remember his name now. He plays at Ipswich. Um, because they both were in first team football, but Fabio Quintrao, I think, was the better choice. Um, Gary Cahill, we got him for twelve million, considering he's probably England's best centre back. Uh, very very good deal. Um, twelve million pounds from Chelsea is a nice little deal. Uh, big big on the wages, but we've got plenty of manoeuvre room to manoeuvre. Ben Davies as well, we signed him up as a backup left back. Um, nine and a half million, which is quite expensive, but I'm sure he'll develop into a very good left back in the future. Um, he'll probably fill uh, Quintrow's boots when he gets old. Danny Bath, we signed him as backup. Uh, looked like a good suggestion. He was only eight hundred k. Very 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 nice player there. Uh, nice little back up there. And Daniel Sturridge was the guy we went for as our main striker, thanks to your suggestions. Uh, only one of you suggested him, actually, but he was available for 23 million, which I thought was a good deal, considering he's a very, very good goal scorer. Um, looks like a very, very tasty player there, indeed. Um, but that's not enough players, really. That is not enough players. This is what the starting lineup looks like at the moment, roughly. We still need a few attacking midfielders. We still need a lot of attacking midfielders, actually. Um, defensive line looks good. The backup we need for the defensive line. We need backup centre back and a backup right back. Um, we need three uh, centre midfielders. Um, one, one. I don't know. It depends where you think Huddleston should be. Box to box or ball winning midfielder. We need an opposite of that. So we need someone with high stamina if you want to play Huddleston as the ball winning midfielder, or we need someone very defensive if you want to play Huddleston as box to box midfielder. Um, and then we need two backup defensive midfielders there. Um, the attack midfielders we've said we needed. We need two first team options and three backup options or young youngsters. Doesn't even have to be backup. Yes, just youngsters, people that can sit on the bench that can come in if someone gets injured. Um, yeah, that's it really. So I just want you guys to comment in this comment section. I want you to make a massive list of all the players I should try and sign. Um, the first list you guys gave me was very good, but we need more. We need a lot more. We need a lot of backup as well. Um, I think we still need a lot of British players as well. Um, if I do auto select. Yeah, we need two more British players um, at least. Um, there's, there's some I've gone in for um, already um, off my own back, but You've got the choice to turn it down. We're going to try and get Eric Dyer again. Aaron Cresswell is the left back that turned us down. Um, Jesse Lingard is, is someone I'm looking at because he might be a very good attacking midfielder. And then you've got Gaston Gil Romero. Um, should I have a look at Ross, ba Ross Barkley, Ravel Morrison? They're both very expensive. Um, but is it worth it? We've still got 80 million on the on the on the uh, budget, and we've got plenty of space left. Um, we filled up plenty of spaces as well, so. Um, Think about it. Backups very important as well. Um, we did off be we were offered a very good deal for Sirigu just after I signed John Ruddy. They offered him to us for about six million pounds. Um, so he's very cheap at the moment. Do you think he, we should get him? Is he worth getting him, or will it cause too much chaos with him and John Ruddy fighting for fir that first team place? Will it cause a bit of drama in the uh, dressing room? And is it worth having two goalkeepers on very high wages? Uh, let me know about that one. Some of you suggested uh, a lot of players. Oh, a lot of them turned us down. A lot of them were on loan, so we couldn't sign them straight away. 
Um, but we've got them in the shortlist, so yeah, we just need some players really. I'll show you the sort of players that are available on the short on the um, the transfer market at the moment. And should we buy some legends? Should we buy some older players? We've got so these are the players, the attacking midfielder, the, well, the all the players really that we can sign. Tony Cruz, he'll be quite expensive. Hatton Ben Arthur, uh, Oliver Drew, Christian Benteke, Adam Janazai is very expensive. Oscar there, uh, Shakiri, he might be quite cheap. Um, Levetsi might be quite cheap. Brashakovsky, got Rakitic as well, who's going to be for quite expensive. Koke, Stefan El Shuare, Aaron Lennon, maybe you want the pace there. Uh, Lauren Koscielny, although we've got all our positions in the defence sorted. Phil Jones, Tom Cleverley is injured, um, so we couldn't sign him. Someone said loan him in and uh, see how he does for a year, but we can't get him because he's injured. Paul Pogba, I'm not sure how much these players will cost, but these are the sort of players that we can sign. So pretty much a lot of players are available. John Obi McKell might be a very good option for that box-to-box -box role. Uh, he's got very high stamina, high, very high strength. Maybe he's a good choice. Um, there's a lot of options here. Ike Mignane, Carlos Feyer, Abu Diaby, Julian Draxler, Jordan Henderson, Andros Townsend, Jackson Martinez, Roberto Firmino, Adam Lallana. So there's a lot of players. Just give me a lot of suggestions. I think we need a lot of cheap players as well, really. We need a lot of backup. So let me know if there's any youngsters out there I should sign who I can probably get for quite cheap. Um, maybe I should go back to my old videos where I've done uh, good, the best youngsters and see if there's any good options there. Um... You guys can even watch it as well, see who you think, you, who you would suggest. But that's the thing at the moment, let me know if you like it, let me know what players I should sign. It's looking quite good at the moment, I think, it's looking very tasty at the moment. We've come, we're building a very, very strong team. It's going to be exciting, guys. Let me know those players, get commenting in the comment section, and next episode will be the start of the Premier League. Um, we'll have to sort out four eight lineups as well, but we'll sort it out in the next episode. So, by the next episode, I want to have the full team, I want to have 23, 24 players. Um, that I can all register. So I, I want a hell of a lot of youngsters. We need a lot of youngsters because we've got a reserve team and under 18s to fill as well. Um, so get comments in, guys. That's the end of this episode. That's it. And any players, if there's any positions that we can't fill, I will have to fill them out, I'm afraid, guys, because we do need to fill them out for the first game of the season. That's me over and out. I'll see you later, guys.